Hey, it's Rachel from Scrappy Happy. Come on, let's get crafty together. Welcome everybody. This is the 2021 Fun in the Bark YouTube Hop. This is taking place on October 2nd, 2021 here on YouTube. I am um, sharing and collaborating with a bunch of amazing crafters here on YouTube. We will all be sharing uh, different projects that we created using the current Doodle Pug collection, Fun in the Park, which is a Disney-inspired paper collection, and it is super, super cute. So um, this is the project I made. So what I bought for this collection this time round was the Petite Prince, which is 12 by 12, the, petite, um, the actual paper collection itself, which is 12 by 12, a 6 by 6 paper pad, the doodle stamps, both of them, which is the food um, at the park and fun at the park, and um, the chit chat, and the odds and ends, and that's everything that I bought for this collection. And the very first project that I created was a folio because folios are dear and near to my heart. So this one actually isn't made from scratch. It was a photo play folio mini book that was given to me, the shell, it was given to be my crafty BFF, Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventures, who's also joining us in the hop. For all the information and who to go to next, check out the comment section because I believe I'm the last person in the hop order today because we went to alphabetical order. So just check the link below and you can see everybody else who's um, participating in the hop today. So this is the... Uh, album that I made. There was some directions because this was intended for a different paper collection. Um, so I used some of the tips and tricks from that to help get my ideas all ready for how to place paper. So I did use the petite prints and I did use the 12 by 12 paper um, to decorate this. So um, it has a little latch so there's dimension here so that the latch just folds in. I was originally thought I was going to have to use a magnet, but I didn't have to use a magnet. So this is on um, this side and the whole paper. And then this is three different pattern papers. What was neat about following uh, somebody who had done all the math work is, is I really used my paper effectively to make this album. And I'm going to have some other fun in the park projects that I will feature in subsequent YouTube videos. So if you like this one, please consider checking out my future videos um, of other projects using Fun in the Park. So it just opens up like this, and this is the first page. And so there's a little tuck spot here. So I just decorated with the odds and ends and ephemera in here. This is a little card. I think I'm gonna put pictures on here, and then you could put one, two, three, four pictures. Uh, I am really in the Disney mood these days, so it was really fun to be working with a Doodlebug inspired Disney collection because this past year we were planning on taking my two children to Disneyland to visit. And so now I have the album all ready to go for when our trip is finally, finally happens and things with COVID settle down. So here in the um, this spot is a pocket. So what's neat about this, if you're planning things, this piece of paper only is about three inches wide and then this takes up the rest. So you're not wasting paper. So you can be really thoughtful with the paper. So this opens up to the next page. And then I have a little tuck spot here to put um, different pictures. And then this one here has a tuck spot. So I currently have these little cut aparts that came with the collection on the 12 by 12 and just tuck that in there. I could put pictures or journaling, lots of different things. And then I used the odds and ends, which just fit perfectly there. Some of the odds and ends in the pack are quite large, so they don't always work with a um, mini album or folio like this, but this one works really well in that particular spot. So then it opens up again to the next spot and then I have a tuck spot here and I've just put some of these cards in. They look like little postcards. So these are going to work perfectly for journaling. This is always my favorite uh, paper from any of the Doodlebug paper collection when they feature the collage of all the different little images in there. And so then this is another little postcard with Minnie's bow. So I'll put that there. And then I have used a chit chat 
piece to go on there and I've pop dotted it up. So what was really nice about this, this is a hidden hinged album. If you can see that here, it's all hidden hinged. You have some space to add dimension. So this was pop dotted up and it just makes your album look so much more uh, interesting to look at. So there's the cute little teacup paper. And what's great when you're using double-sided paper is you can mix and match and it makes it look like you used way more different types of paper than you did. However, it does involve creative planning, for example, with this one here with the stripes. And then you have to decide which one's your favorite and go with it. So this is just another tuck spot here. I'm just going to put pictures in there and lift it out. That way, when you lift it out, you'll get to see this pretty paper. And then I've used another... I think that came from the odds and ends, but it could have come from the chit chat. And this is a cut apart that I've turned into a tuck spot as well. And then here is some map paper and this is just um, decorated a little bit. I just really like this because back in the day when I went to Disneyland, I don't even know what it's like anymore. We had little maps and schedules so we knew what was happening for the day. I'm sure it's all digitized now, but this is really cute. And then here's a little spot for a picture and I used some of the again I think this came from the odds and ends and just pop dotted it up so you can put a picture in there and then this um, is the next page memories from a chit chat here's a spot for a picture and then the ticket booth and then this here is another page for a pocket and I'm going to put a picture here. That was the same one with this one on the front. I know it looks like a lot of yellow, but my idea is that I'm going to actually put a picture across here because the whole idea of the album is to really, and, and the paper is combining it to enhance the pictures. And that's a little odds and ends bag again. And um, here's another page with the, the, um, map looking paper and I used the sticker from the 12 by 12 sheet that comes with the package of 12 by 12 paper and here's a little sticker left um, that I just put on cardstock and fussy cut it out and then pop dotted it up and then this is the last page of the little folio it's another pocket I used the map odds and ends and then I've just tucked in these um, cut aparts in here and the um, little spot for the photo spot. Now this book is designed to put pictures and things, oh, not, not that one. Each one of these pages, one, two, three, four, five, six, has spaces that you could put pictures in there. For now, I'm deciding just to keep it blank. I thought about putting Mickey ears in and all that sort of thing. But then the problem is that can get really damaged and it's not practical for keeping your book if you're going to be sharing it with pictures. And I want the kids to be excited about sharing their vacation pics. So that is my little 6 by 6 mini book. Um, again, this was a photo play um, template that I created from scratch they give you all the directions and then cut out all the paper accordingly i do have some more projects in my future with this collection i really appreciate you joining in along this blog hop please um, subscribe and like this video and you will be entered into a little small happy mail prize um, with something inspired from this paper collection. So um, you do need to be able to, to be a subscriber and comment below about what your thoughts are of this album. And please check out all the other amazing crafters that are joining us today on this blog hop. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.